In this video, you will learn how to use CD4047 multivibrator IC. The CD4047 IC is a low power CMOS logic based multivibrator circuit IC. It can operate either in the mono stable or A stable mode. Furthermore, this IC is easy to configure for both modes and requires few external components to operate. It has a wide operating voltage range of 3 to 15 volts but works best at 5 volts. The CD4047 multivibrator has 14 pins. Three output pins provide PWM outputs, such as Q, Q bar, and oscillator output pin. Now let's see some applications of CD4047. This IC can be used for generating clock pulses, sine wave, square wave and many others. It can also be used in application of timing delay circuits, frequency multiplier, and frequency divider. Now let's move forward and see how to use CD4047. In order to use this IC, it needs an external resistor to be connected between pin 1 and 3. It is used to determine the output pulse width in monostable mode. For determining output frequency in a stable mode, it needs a capacitor to be connected between pin 2 and 3. Now let's first learn to use this IC in monostable mode. In monostable mode, the two inputs trigger plus and trigger minus are used to enable the monostable mode of operation. By giving low to high transition at trigger plus pin and high to low transition at trigger minus pin, you will be able to get a monostable output. Also, to select monostable mode, Connect AA stable pin with the ground and AA stable bar pin with 5 volts. This circuit is used the IC in Monday Austable mode. The frequency of the outputs Q and Q bar can be calculated by this formula. For example, if resistance is 560 kilo ohm and capacitor value is 10 nanofarad, frequency will be around 200 kilohertz. The retrigger input is used to retrigger the device by triggering this input and trigger plus input with low to high transition. Now click on Proteus play button, you will get output like this on Proteus oscilloscope. As you can see from the simulation output, in CD4047 mono stable mode, we get output in the PWM form on the oscillator out pin. Q output pin remains active high and Q bar active low. Now let's see how to use this IC in a stable mode. Similar to mono stable mode, the A stable and A stable bar input pins of CD4047 enable a stable mode of operation. If you want to use the IC in a stable mode, you need to connect active high logic to pin 5 and active low the pin 4. So that you will be able to get constantly fluctuating output between high and low. This is circuit diagram of multivibrator in a stable mode, the output frequency can be calculated through timing components and is given by this equation. Now click on Proteus play button, you will get output like this on Proteus oscilloscope. In a stable mode, we have an additional oscillator output. The oscillator output at pin 13 is of the basic frequency. The Q output frequency is half to that of the basic frequency. Pin 11 output is the same as that of pin 10 but the output signal is inverted to 180 degrees. This is how we can use CD4047 inches mono stable and A stable mode. For more information and circuits, check the link given in the description of the video.